wait, wait for it, wait for it. It says we're live, but there's no picture. Wait, oh, we have a picture. <laughs> Happy Halloween, Happy everybody. Halloween. John Lennon says hi. Hi, John Lennon. From the afterlife, maybe. I'm a big fan. I'm going to have my first Halloween candy. I haven't eaten any candy. <laughs> I've had so much candy and marshmallows. <laughs> Toasted, roasted marshmallows. Hey, Brandy Bee's here. She says, happy Halloween. Happy hi, Halloween, Brandy everybody. Bee. Happy spooky day. Happy ha Lots of happy Halloweens. Hope you guys are having fun. Hey, Jamie's here. Jamie says, hi, friends. Happy Halloween. Hey, Jamie. I'm eating Tootsie Rolls. It's good 142 in the morning from England. Mm. A harmless puffer fish says, hi, happy Halloween. Hello. M Mads says, hello, happy Sam Hain. <laughs> happy Sam Hain. Uh, what time is it for us? It is 8.45. Emma says, morning. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. You should not be up, <coughs> Emma. You should not. I'm watching the live from the Halloween candy giving out table. That's Lily Jack. Oh, hey, Lily hi. Jack. We had no one come by, so I have to eat all of these Tootsie Rolls. Yeah, I went and sat in my girlfriend's driveway, and um, we had some libations, and then we roasted marshmallows, and I have had a dozen marshmallows, and it was glorious. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I third wheeled because my friend brought his girlfriend. Oh, uh, that's funny. Have you considered drawing stuff from D&D? &D? I used to when I was into D&D &D back in the 70s, but I haven't done it since. Um, it's 9 p.m. in Canada. It was Halloween yesterday for me. <laughs> you must be a day ahead of us. Oh, Emma says, I have another cold keeping me awake. I'm mm. sorry. I'm watching you draw Bowie and Octavia as I draw my favorite original character in her Halloween costume. Oh, nice. I skipped Halloween this year because of my mental health, but I'm glad you guys are having fun this Halloween, says Ollie the Therian. Oh, thank you. Andrea says, you guys are amazing with like a whole slew of hearts. Oh, thank you. Look at our little Bowie with his Steph mustache. Steph I'm sorry, with their mustache. Steph Nerd's here and says hello. Hey, Steph Nerd. All right, you ready for the first blow dryer? Oh, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. All right, go ahead. Moon of Dreams, you are so funny. Of course I read your chat. You guys are funny. Oh. Rusty Vien, Vien, say hi to your son for me. How are you? Um, the drawing is inked already because um, Scott worked on it earlier and he didn't want to be on for like a couple hours tonight. So he um, he was and also was trying to get the composition right. I don't know. You tell him why you inked what? it already. They want to know why it's inked already. Oh, um, I just I just decided uh, I, this morning because I had all day. I thought I'm gonna just figure out what I want to do and I started drawing and erasing and drawing and erasing and drawing and erasing and then I was like well it's only noon now so I was like well I'll just do a little bit of inking and then I was gonna go live maybe around six but then my son uh, Brendan was like hey can we uh, watch a hockey game the the Maple Leafs are playing the, the Kings it starts at seven I was like okay I'll go live after that <laughs> so I started inking while we were watching the game and then the game was about halfway through and he got bored because it was a three nothing shutout, and oh, so bummer. here we are. So I just, honestly, I just was doing it just for fun, just to. I knew I was going to go live at some point, but it's it's a, it's a special live, a special Halloween live. Surprise! So. Ellen's here. She says, "Good evening, loves." Hey, Ellen. Good evening. I was sitting with my friend outside, having some libations and eating some roasted marshmallows. I'm up to a dozen and um, and then all of a sudden this huge freezing cold wind blew through and we both looked at each other and we had hardly any trick-or-treaters and we were like maybe it's time to go in <laughs> that's why I'm here because it was time to go in 
Bowie looks like a puppet with the mustache and hair. <laughs> this art has to be the cutest thing I've seen all day. That's Hex. It's 4 a.m. here. I wake up at this time, so I'm lucky your live started at this time. Oh. AB from YouTube. Did you uh, did you guys see there, the little vines growing up and they form a heart? <laughs> there are lots of people who will happily help you eat all those Tootsie Rolls on the Oh, desk. gosh. I have a feeling that within about 10 more minutes of this, I'm going to be like, oh, be Mr. Sick. Stark, I don't feel so good. Mm hmm. That's okay. That's probably about the same time the marshmallows are going to kick in. <laughs> did the Tootsie Rolls blow away with the hair dryer? That's funny. The, the, the rappers did, yeah. Um, what's the background supposed to be? My video quality is bad. Oh, um, you can change that, by the way. But uh, let's see. It is. There's a window in the mansion. Yeah, I've got a picture of it. Adam's family mansion. See? Come on. It's that. Yeah. It's in the, uh, what's it called? Arboretum kind of thing? Or yeah, a greenhouse like or something like that. Um, I really... Um, let's see. A little blow dryer. The blow dryer would warm me up. Okay, hold on. And the blow dryer would warm me up. You're so funny. Hi, Nolan. I didn't hand out, hand out candy because it's so cold out. I love the art. You know what? It was freezing, and that's why we stopped handing out. We only had 10 trick-or-treaters. It was kind of sad because it was like, oh, people, are, people aren't coming tonight out. Oh, we had this one little girl, though. <gasps> oh, my God. She had a bell costume on, and her skirt lit up. Oh, wow. It was the cutest thing you'd ever seen in your whole life. And her little shoes lit up too. Oh, it was so cute. She was adorable. And I had puppy cookies tonight. Because Bethany said she got dog bones for the dogs. So I brought puppy cookies. And I got to give some out and pet some puppies. It That's was, very cute. It was awesome. Hey, Anne-Marie's here. Hey, Anne-Marie. So, hey, friends. I'm glad I get to hang out with the bests. All the love and hugs coming your way. Oh, Zoya's mom is forcing them to study since they have an exam tomorrow. Oh, I'm sorry. Who gives you an exam the day after Halloween? Oh, I don't know, but Carissa's doing her A push homework. I'm so sorry. Oh, my boys took that class. Ran out of candy for trick or treat just for mysterious reasons. LOL. That's Layla's <laughs> art. Um, happy Halloween, Donna. What is your favorite candy? Oh, God. Okay. I can't eat them anymore, but my all-time favorite candy is um, Three Musketeers. Really? Mm-hmm. I love the chocolate on the outside. I love the soft, squishy middle, but it's made with eggs. I didn't it is know made. That. Yep. I found that out the hard way one year. Ask me how I know, because we used to go trick or treating. I used to take the boys trick or treating with their friends in <laughs> the, the car. The kids didn't like the Three Musketeers, so you ate them. Exactly. All. The kids did not. I said, "Hey, if you guys get any Three Musketeers." And nobody wants them. Send them my way. I swear I had 20 wrappers of those fun size Three Musketeers in the front seat. Those fun size weren't fun anymore. They were, were not they? they were not fun the next day. Um, would I show you where I sit when you do the lives? Um Sure. I can post a picture of where I sit on the community channel because we can't really move the camera. But I can we can show you. Donna's not wearing her Winnie the Pooh costume either. Oh, I'm not. I had on my Winnie the Pooh onesie tonight with about 7,000 layers underneath it because it was cold. But um, I did. I had it. Well, it smelled like the fire pit, so that's why I took it off because it was too much. Um, can you guys do a video about pets? Because I lost my hamster and I feel sad without him. That's Aki Rose the Witch. Oh, well, we did. We did a video about losing uh, Arwen, our we pet. Did. We did. We lost her in May. In May, if you want to go back and look for that. But we're very so sorry to hear yeah. that. We feel your pain. It's not fun losing a pet. It's very, very hard. Um, Exits here says, good evening, Scott. Congrats on completing your month challenge. Glad to know you can have some time where you are not held to an exact concept for every drawing. Yeah, thank you. It was really fun. I think it was one of my more enjoyable ones because i really didn't have to 
get too creative and I could just kind of just have some fun with it. Um, I will be making uh, prints. Uh, I'm going to do them as little postcards and you can just buy the whole set. And that way, if you want to put them up on the wall or if you want to send them someplace or whatever, or use you can do that. Marks. Yeah. I want a whole set minus one. I'll give you. Um, Renee ba- ba- Bobbles? Bobbles says, I am screaming. Bowie looks adorable in their little outfit, and the vines forming into a heart is heart is a heartwarming bonus. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Scott didn't dress up, but I had my Winnie the Pooh onesie on. Yeah, I, I was on uh, in the off chance that someone actually rang the doorbell. I was on patrol for that, and no one showed up, so that's why I did a lot of doodling. But I was really good, and I didn't eat any of the candy. I wasn't. Not only did I have some libations, but I had a dozen marshmallows and some chocolate. I always go crazy on Halloween. I can't help myself. It's terrible. I have the worst hangover the next day, and it's all sugar-related. Um, Kirsten has had snow in Montana already. That's crazy. Wow. Um, so Montana didn't get the memo that it was only October? Well, it was freezing out here. It was 33 degrees. I know. Well, that, I'm telling you, the reason I came home so early, we stayed out last year till almost 10 o'clock, but the reason we came home so early is because the wind picked up and it was frigid. Yeah, well, and there was was also not that many kids. No, there weren't that many kids. It was kind of sad. Um, I skipped Halloween this year trying to work on my art and it is you who inspired me to continue on my art journey and keep up the good work and have a blessed Halloween. Oh, thank you. You too. That is, Cooper is super. I like that. Cooper is super. It's my first time watching you live. Hello. I was really having trouble figuring out how to chat. What did you guys do for any Halloween costumes? Oh, um, Donna dressed up as Winnie the Pooh mm-hmm, I did. and I did nothing. I was home. Uh-uh. You didn't do nothing. He made me, he barbecued me a wonderful cheeseburger before I went to my friend's house. Um, I just got out of figure drawing class. We are doing legs and feet on toned paper this week. That oh, is Claire fun. Wolf. fun. Figure drawing is so fun. Yeah, but the toned paper is really cool. That's my favorite. Oops, got my hand in there. Um, Delightful Delinquent says you're one of my biggest inspirations for art. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Um, I can't even with his little mustache, his mustache and his <laughs> nose i can't even i can't i can't let's even. say we got one two three four five six seven we'll say the, the the eighth arm is back there somewhere i think it's it's pinching him on the tuchus <laughs> hey says happy halloween i hope you don't turn into a pumpkin at midnight like cinderella <laughs> did <laughs> Um, I'm confused on how this works. Does Donna monitor this live in another room or simply farther away? Oh, she's just right next to me. Well, about maybe eight feet away. Mm-hmm. I am on the other side of the Hobbit hole, and we got... Uh, Scott had a separate microphone that he uses at his desk when he edits. And so I am on that mic over here, and he... You can hear him through his webcam. Blow dryer! No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Where's the... Okay, okay. Um, I had a six wafers and a handful of M&Ms and I almost threw up. Oh, nude, not derfed. You're a lightweight. Emma, no trick-or-treaters at all, huh? Hi, Emmanuel from Mexico. It snowed where I was today. It was crazy weather in Michigan. Yeah, gosh. That's nuts. It snowed in Michigan today, and Emmanuel really? from Mexico says hi. Yeah. Look yeah. at how much more saturated the pink is on the arches than it is on the grabby paper. It's really much more saturated. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Let me see. Interesting. Uncle Fester in the corner. <laughs> mm. This is so cute. Love you guys. That's Amity Blight. It's close to summer for Grace. You must be in the Southern Hemisphere. Where are you? New Zealand, Australia, Brazil. I've been wanting to try out watercolors. Is the hair dryer a necessity? No, 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 no. It just speeds things up. That's all. Yeah, Scott doesn't like to watch paint dry. So... Yeah, I'm lazy. And you guys really don't want to watch paint dry. 
Um, Acrylic right, so Art wants us to be their hobbit parents. <laughs> oh my gosh. Kermito has arrived. You can start now officially. Kermito's here. Hey, Kermito. Kermito says, my best friend and I say hi. I finished my canvas drawing for my birthday. And Kermito, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Scott, have you ever watched The Thing before? The original one with uh, Kurt Russell? Yeah. I love how Octavia has so much expression and Bowie is blank. I wish I could be in an art class, but I'm already in band and chorus. Wow, you are doing good stuff. Do you all give out good lollies or just the Tootsie Rolls? Grace, Scott bought what he liked. I bought the good stuff for everybody else. Let's see. Hershey bars, Nestle Crunch, Snickers bars, Kit Kat figured, bars. I'm always stuck with them afterwards, so Reese's, I might as well like it. Um, then Scott bought Blow Pops. the, the um, Tootsie Pops. Tootsie Pops. And I bought Ooh. Dum Dums, which are my favorite. They're those tiny pop. little lollipops, you know, which are just enough of a lollipop. They're very good. Okay, I gotta go get a Tootsie Pop. I forgot I got Tootsie Pops. Good grief. I just got home from taking my siblings trick or treating. I'm so glad I got to see the live. That's just for fun. I'll be right back. Um, go buy a Tootsie what Pop. What is your least favorite candy? Ooh, black licorice. Oh, God. I'm going with that, too. Yeah, I don't do black licorice, either. Blech. Nope, nope, nope. Next year, Skandana should be Hobbits. Is. Um, oh, your Halloween was ruined by a snowstorm. Yep. Yeah, that can happen. I used to take the boys, whether it was raining or anything. If whatever it was, they would want to go. I That I miss. I miss that a lot. Kennedy, hello, how are you? What's your favorite Halloween movie? Oh, it's 80% um, of my candy is spicy. Steph, you're funny. I didn't get any of those boozy chocolates. I needed some of those. You know what's even worse than last year, though? Mm -mm. What are those ones that are like Mike and Ike's? Those uh, like Jolly Good and Jollies or whatever those things oh, are? Oh, Good and Plenty. That are like the, the pink, and the pink and white and black ones. Oh. They look like Pepto Bismol and black licorice and some gross other flavor. Oh, those are so yeah, good. Mike, they're like uh, good and plenties. That's what they are. Your good. dad liked those. He because he likes black, black licorice. licorice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what happened to the one minute figure drawing practice videos? Ophelia would like to know. There's a playlist. All of them are in the playlist. Mm, what's your favorite superhero? Mm. Spider Man. Um, I loved October, um, October last year, and I love October this year. I'm glad to see the return of Octavia this year. My best regards from Tennessee. That's a glitch. <laughs> um, oh my God. Dalton says, I first discovered the Adams Family when I watched an M&M's commercial based on it <laughs> and then watched the movie from 1991. Do you two have any good Halloween stories about you, a spooky story or anything else? I don't know, do we have any Halloween stories? I don't know. I don't know. think so. We're very boring people at Halloween. I mean, for the last, like, I don't know, 20 years, the most excitement that we've had was two years ago, which was the first year the boys were gone, I think, or maybe it was three years ago. I don't know. Anyway, one of the years we stayed at home with Arwen and we watched TV because the boys were doing their own thing. And that that was, I don't know. I, we're really boring at Halloween, really. Oh my gosh, Rhea Ren sent you a tip. Oh, thank you. Favorite costume of the night. Oh my God, hands down, it was that little girl dressed as Belle because her skirt lit up. It was the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life. And she had the little, the little, um, the little headband. Mm. And she had the little wand. It was so cute. <laughs> she was so cute. Yeah. What's your guys' opinion on candy corn? You know what? I like the f I like candy corn uh, for like two of them, and then after that, I could I can go another year without eating any more. I could probably like, eat about five. Yeah. Like I don't hate them, but it's like okay, I'm good. Yeah, they don't do anything for me. Yeah. 
Um, let's see. Um, we do have a P.O. box. It is listed on the website. Yep, just go to yeah. the bottom of the page. Bella G box says, yuck, black licorice. That's correct. Yeah. yeah. Most of the time these streams are during my school time, says Sophia, so I'm happy I can make this one. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Wow, happy Halloween from Santiago, Chile. Wow. Dia de los Muertos is tomorrow. Yes, it is indeed. All right, blow dryer. Wait, 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 wait. Let me... Okay. <laughs> Ellen did a worst candy bracket at work and Good and Plenty won the worst. That's accurate. Yeah. You know, it's funny. Some people like black licorice and they like that kind of stuff and uh, not so much. Um, what kind of tea sugar do you use in your tea? I use just plain white. Okay. So um, it's a mood thing, but most of the time, if I'm going to do sugar in my tea, I have this one. It's the raw sugar. It's raw turbinado sugar. And I get it from Trader Joe's and I put that in my tea. Um, but there's also, I will just put a plug out for this because I, I do actually, I bought it and I use it. Um, what was I saying? The Black turbinado. Tea. Turbinado sugar. Oh, okay. Um, the amber rock sugar from um, the tea foundry. I love that. That's really good too. That's a little sweeter, um, but that's what I use. But plain white sugar works fine too. Um, let's see. Aw, ODW is kind of sad because none of their friends wanted to trick or treat. Oh. But they said, but now I get to watch y'all paint. Let's see. I love caramel. I like caramel with chocolate. I don't like caramel just by itself. <laughs> my, uh, my grandpa, uh, you know, Poppy. Oh yeah. He used to he used to have uh, caramel, those little Brock's caramels in his pocket. And man, if I was over at the house and I couldn't get any other sugar, I'd stomach it somehow and be like, I don't like it, but at least it's sugar. Um. Let's see. And salt, tamarind, and chili powder covered in lollipops. Oh, yeah, I can't. I couldn't do that stuff. Yes, I finished giving out candy already because it was cold and we were hardly getting any trick-or-treaters. And yes, that was our grandfather clock. I wish I could see Bowie dressed up all year round. Yeah, well, just, just so you guys know, I do plan on doing more Bowie. I had so much fun. I'd like to do a set of literary characters. Maybe do a Harry Potter theme, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, there's so so many cool things we could do with Bowie. So I do plan on doing some more. But I just, I don't like to do something for too long because I have other things I want to try. And so I'm going to, uh, for November and December, I'm going to be doing the <coughs> 90s movie poster. And I'm going to do a new um, painting like, like the uh, Gothic Vampire. Um, which one do you like better, Octavia or Octobear? I like Octobear. Um, let's see. I liked all the costumes. You are my favorite YouTuber ever. Oh, thank you. Um, let's see. I thought you said she was dressed as a bell, not bell. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Um, we did not carve pumpkins this year. I bought one. No one carved it, though. It's on the front porch. Uh, we put up fall decorations. We don't really decorate for Halloween. Bethany goes all out for Halloween. I mean, all out. She has the big 12-foot skeleton in her front yard and everything. Um, I need to blow dry. Oh, you need to blow dry. Okay. Hold on. Go ahead. How long have you been drawing and making art for? Hmm. Um, I guess over 40 years. Oh, mm. and 
An artist named Kai says, my mom got pneumonia, so I couldn't go out this year because I didn't want to go with friends. I stayed home and made her my grandma's recipe for chicken and noodles. That was so very nice to you, to you for you to do that. I know she appreciated it. Um, I live in Canada, though, so I don't have access to a Trader Joe's. Okay, so I'm sure you can find raw turbinado sugar. That's what you're looking for. Derpy Freedom is here and says, the clock, oh my God, I missed it so much. <laughs> that clock is spooky, says Marie. Um, oh, Sam S. says, I've had the worst week ever, but I managed to throw together a damn good Halloween party for a couple of friends and living on that energy now while trying to get back on track. Oh. You know what? That's good. I'm glad you got... See, you probably feel better. Kai says the blow dryer sound is oddly comforting. <laughs> I would love to see a laboratory with a mad scientist as a poster like the gothic vampire. I, yeah, that could be fun. I think um, doing the archer elf with the dragon is probably my next one. Mm -hmm. Ah, Dead Fred has an interesting question. If you were given the chance to do a plushie, just like Makeshift does with some YouTubers, would you consider a Bowie plushie or a plushie based off of your movie? Um, we actually had some plushies made off of our movie. Unfortunately, because of all of the shenanigans from the studios, we couldn't get it out there, mm -hmm. but they were made. Um, but yeah, I'd love to do a, a plushie for Bowie. And we are talking to some people about it. Are we talking to some people about it? <laughs> Happy Halloween from me and my little sister. That's Layla's art. Do you have any experience with fiber arts like knitting or crochet? No, not me. Donna might have a little bit. I do. I have, um, I have um, done some knitting. I'm not as good as I want to be, but I'll get there. I feel like every year there are less or less trick-or-treaters. Yeah, I don't know why that is. Amity just... Blight says, daily reminder, everyone, drink some water, eat some food, get some sleep, and stay healthy. Yeah. I think people are just, uh, they stop believing in the Great Pumpkin. Oh, don't say that. That's so sad. We have to watch that. We haven't watched that yet this year. Can we just appreciate how the octopus looks so pleased slash content with Bowie Gomez? <laughs> um... No, we do not speak any other languages. I would love to see Octavia as a plushie. What kind of mechanical pencil do you use? Well, I just started using it. Donna got it for me. It is the, was it Kurotoga? Kurotoga, Kurotoga I think. Yeah. I really should have that. It's You know what? It's in the resource list. Scott's resources. Does your hat give you magic powers? It protects me from sunburn. <laughs> it, he also puts on his uh, persona. His um, I'm going out of the house persona. Yeah. When he puts his hat on. Um, Sophie says, my night hasn't been going good today and I wasn't able to do the things I wanted, but I'm glad I get to see you paint. It makes me happy. And I'm very happy that I found you. Thank you so much. No. I'm sorry. And I hope you're... Evening gets a little better, but we're happy you're here too. Um, my dad drinks English breakfast tea 24 seven. I personally like Korean tea better. What's your opinion? Um, your dad's right. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I have a cup of the berries um, Irish tea right now, the decaf tea, which is very much like an, a breakfast tea. And it's so good, especially cause I was freezing and um, it was very cold outside. And now I feel warm again. Um, I had a friend give me a pack of Windsor and Newton watercolors after hearing me rant about how you use them for half an hour. I'm overjoyed. Oh, that's great. That's Kermito. That's awesome. Um, Russia says, hello, Scott. Thank you so much for looking upon my art. I've made Bowie dressed as you. Oh, yeah. That was so good. Thank you. I'm going to share it along with the others. Um, it was just... I'm, I just, it was so adorable. Oh my God. Rivy sent you a tip and there's a joke. Why does Bowie like camping with Octavia? Why? Because she keeps the tent a cool. <laughs> That's cute. Emma says tea. Who said tea? 
You should know we always say tea here. Um, Octavia always reminds me of my first drawing, a cute pumpkin octopus. It looked horrible, but Scott's videos always motivated me to keep making art. <laughs> That's our own Neko Arts. Are you planning on making all the Bowie pictures into a poster like you did the 80s music one? Um, no, but I am going to make them into a series, uh, into a set of uh, cards. So you can, if you want to hang them all up, you could, but I just think uh, changing it up a little bit because people can only take so many posters. And so I think this will be a little bit better. So there'll be 13 cards, and um, I think it's going to be really adorable. What paper are you using? Mm. I am, sorry, I'm, I'm sucking on a Tootsie Pop. Um, I am using uh, Arches uh, Cold Press watercolor paper. Um, Anne Marie says, soon enough I'll branch out from crochet and I'll learn to knit, but that day is not today with laughing emojis. That's okay. I want to get better at it. I'd like to make a sweater someday, but I'm not there yet either. So I think just one step at a time. T Creation says it's so cold here. It's got so cold here too. It was the other day, it was 80 degrees. And then all of a sudden it was like 70 degrees. And then we woke up yesterday morning and it was like 40. And then this morning it was like 33. I, I don't even, it's like it decided, yeah, you know what? We're done with fall. We're just going to go straight to winter. It's crazy. Um, imagine Bowie and Octavia pins. <laughs> now I want to crochet Bowie and Octavia. Depresso Espresso Arts Cat says hello. Mm. Hello, cat. Um, King Blind Source says, oh my God, I just tuned in and this is amazing. I love it, Scott. Thank you for the constant content. It always makes my day. <laughs> oh, thank you. Um, hi, I dressed up in my Hufflepuff outfit with a robe and a tie. I even got a cool wine to top it off. That's Yankee. Yay, Hufflepuff. Hope you had a happy Halloween. Mm, just made pumpkin pie from carved pumpkins. That sounds cool. Sophia, my aunt played Morticia in the Adams Family Musical, and I got to see her perform this past weekend. Oh, that's great. How fun is that? Live theater. Help, it's so cold, and my blanket has a rip, but I can't sew. Well, <laughs> I would sew your blanket for you, except that you'd have to send it to me, and then you'd be really cold. You should get a safety pin and pin the hole closed. Um, Cheese Lord VR says, I'm watching you while waiting at Disney. Oh, cool. What ride are you waiting for? This I have got to know. Um, Chase says, for real, I was wearing t-shirts the other day and now we had a freeze warning. Right? It's nuts. Like, it's literally just, ugh. What is your favorite season? Fall. Did All I? two weeks of it. Yeah. All the time is tea time. That is correct. What would their child look like oh gosh an octopus one bear or together as a new creature I don't know <laughs> I don't want to think about it um Hansy Mayhem's sister Emma hey how you doing hello um Nikayla, it's literally snowing where I am oh Gail's here Gail says hey happy Halloween hey Gail what is your favorite Harry Potter house? Hufflepuff. Gryffindor. Um, Cherry Blossom Cookie says, oh my God, I think I'm struggling with anxiety again. Oh no. I am so sorry. Um, do you have, um, do you have something you can do for that? Do you have a, do you have any, you know, um, like, do you have any medicine or do you have a safe place you can go that makes you feel comfortable and happy? Um, honestly, sometimes I like to go sit in my closet with a blanket. I know it sounds crazy, but it, it, it works. Um, just go outside says, why can't skeletons play music at church? They don't have any organs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm currently celebrating Halloween at home, playing some spooky games with my brothers. That's Little Sounder. I hope all of you guys are having fun on Halloween in your own oh, way. Thank you. Um, have you tried 
cinnamon, honey, and milk and oolong tea together. I have not. Patrick loves Christmas has just got done painting a pumpkin. Oh, fun. She is screaming right now. Tell her not to scream. Jolly says, I feel like I'm a Hufflepuff. I would recommend a weighted blanket or stuffed animal for anxiety. And that may not help everyone, but it helps me. That's Amity Blight. That's a great suggestion. Scott has just got a weighted blanket. Yeah, I like it. And you it. really like it. Yeah. I know that um, if you have an Apple Watch, they have the, um, was it the mindfulness oh, thing? Yeah, mindfulness. And you could do the breathing. And yep. that, that's helped me in the past, too. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, the calm, the breathing. Yeah, that's really good. I also love sitting in closets. They feel very safe. I don't know why, but they do, don't they? I have a little backrest, one of those backrests in my closet. And sometimes I take a little blanket and I just go and kind of sit in there for a little while. I used to do phone calls in there in the closet. Rowan says, sitting in a closet is actually very comforting. It feels very safe. It's quiet too in there. Have you noticed that? It's quiet. It feels safe. What is your favorite kind of tea? I would love to try it. Um, one of these days, we're going to put my all my teas with links and everything up on the website. But I like um, Berry's Irish Breakfast Tea and I love the Harrods Knightsbridge Blend Tea. That's my favorite. But um, I'm a, a black tea kind of girl and I, I'm not really into flavors. I used to like all sorts of flavors, but um, I'm not really into flavors anymore. Hey, Scott, what good quality student priced sketchbooks would you recommend? Happy Halloween. That's WM Arts. Um, so I have to ask this question. Are you talking about just sketchbooks like pencil or are you talking about watercolor? Because those are two different things. Um, yeah. WM Arts, let us know what you're going to use the sketchbook for. Are you looking just to sketch or are you looking for, like, to do something else in it? I'm doing a stress coloring book for my stress, says Hansy Mayhem. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> Stefner says, and they are so good. Donna can brew a good cup of tea. <laughs> I thank you. That means so much coming from you. You have no idea. Because um, if y'all don't know, Steph loves um, tea like I love tea. And uh, she uh, got to be here with us and I got to make tea for her. And that was a big deal. Um, you could use a weighted stuffed animal, says Amity Blight, like I have an axolotl one that helps. I honestly tried Scott's blanket and it was too heavy for me, but I've seen those stuffed animals and those those actually look kind of cool. I they also have sure. different, different um, weights. weights. Yeah, yeah, I got the heaviest one. Yeah. What type of music do you guys like? 80s. Yep. 80s music. Um, do you know if they have weighted blankets that aren't so warm? I love a good heavy blanket, but I get hot easily. That's Chase. Scott does yeah, too. I don't know. You get hot easily too. Yeah, I'm just saying I don't know if they have ones that don't warm. Yeah, I don't know. Um, it was definitely a better idea because it takes longer. Um, blow dryer. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, uh, go ahead. Lipton tea is the worst tea on the face of the planet. That's my personal opinion. Um, everyone can have their own opinion, but I don't like it. See, here's the thing. The thing is, is that I started buying teas that were higher quality teas. And once you start buying a higher quality of tea, you don't want to drink anything that's not like that. You want to just drink the good stuff because you can tell the difference. It's like the difference between a good bottle of wine and a cheap bottle of wine. Um, okay, so WM Art says they're doing watercolor for that sketchbook. Oh, okay. I would say my favorite. This is no, no student grade. I, I think they're. I, looking I get for, it, but okay. My favorite is the um, the Be Creative, mm -hmm. and honestly, it's 
you know, you get 45 pages and it's $14 mm-hmm. and it's literally the best, like the best. If you spend, if you want to get student grade, you might spend $8, but for, for an extra, you know, five or six dollars, it's so worth it. T Creation says, them, how do you survive Wednesday? Me, Scott. <laughs> That's cute. Um, what colors are the background vines and slash window going to be? I don't know. Haven't thought about it yet. Nerdy Book Nerd says, my, just got back from trick-or-treating. My feet hurt so bad. Oh. Um, Gwendolyn Art says, since it became legal where I live, I've been trying CBD and THC for my anxiety. Has it helped? I would be curious to know. Yeah. I'm actually on anxiety medicine. So, um, <laughs> Emma says Lipton is sacrilege. I agree mm-hmm. with that statement. Yorkshire tea is a great all-purpose tea. Fuels me all day. I like Yorkshire tea. It has good flavor. I think that's the thing. I think people get caught up on like this tea is more expensive or that thing's more expensive. You can buy an expensive tea that you personally don't necessarily like. You have to go with the flavor that you like to taste. Uh, what is your opinion on the Beatles? They're my favorite band. That's Mahair. I love the Beatles. Jane says, Harney and Sons makes incredible loose leaf teas. They have a lot of unflavored black teas, but I'm partial to their green hot cinnamon. There you go. And I have tried them and they do make a good, um, Gail sent me a Scottish breakfast from them and that was really good. Um, I have tea blend based on calcifer from Howl's Moving Castle. It's raspberry and black tea flavored and I love it. Mm. Hmm, that sounds intriguing. Is anyone doing Halloween baking right now? I'm making banana cookies. That's Bewildered Citrus. Um, what's y'all's favorite kind of chocolate? This is Gail. I love Ghirardelli intense dark chocolate with raspberry crunchy bits. Um nom nom, she says. Oh. I think my favorite chocolate is Entman's chocolate donuts oh or their fudge cake. Um, There's not like a bar that I like. Hmm. I don't know anymore. I have had the hardest time um, finding chocolate that I'm gonna do a blow dryer. The dark chocolate that I like because I can't have milk chocolate anymore. But a lot of the flavors and stuff that they put into chocolates they make with eggs and so i haven't really found anything that i like that's good um emma says a uh, blanket should be around 10 percent of your body weight hmm. so for scott it should be like 100 pounds 30 pounds yeah <laughs> <laughs> did you go to art school because you're really good at art thank you i did but i wasn't a very good student <coughs> Most of what you're seeing, I learned just by practice. Um, there are some tips and tools that I did learn that you know have been invaluable, but something I could have been taught in a day. Um. Let's see. Kermito asks, I just got those Windsor and Newton watercolors. Anything I should know before starting to use them? I've used watercolor for most of my art, but are Windsor and Newton different in opacity and thickness? I honestly can't say I've compared them too much. I've only just recently started trying all of the cheaper stuff that people send me. And um, really, I never noticed too much of a difference between the cheap stuff and Windsor and Newton. The, I think where you're getting your value is longevity. It'll last longer. Um, the light fastness. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, that's really it. It'll last 100 years. And I think that's why professionals will use it. Mm-hmm. I can smell myself. I smell like a fireplace. <laughs> um, 
Sam says, been teaching my kid the 54321 method and it works for me too. That's a great, that's a great method. Um, I don't know if you guys, have, if anybody hasn't heard of that, it's, it's a, a grounding exercise to reduce anxiety and stress. And it's, you identify five things you can see, four things you can touch, three things you can hear, two things you can smell, and one thing you can taste. And it is supposed to be very, very grounding. I want to try that. I have not tried that, but I want to try that. Where can you get cheap, good quality water watercolors? All mine are pretty bad. Um, you know, we've had several that we've tried and unfortunately they always sell out. Yeah, they're not available anymore. But um, Grabby has some. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they're... We're working on getting their kit back. Okay. Um, you still have to approve the colors and then we'll be ready to I go. I like the ones from Mia, from the mm -hmm. Hemi, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, there's a $25 kit that's um, really good from Windsor & Newton. Mm -hmm. It's the Cotman set, which is their student uh, brand. And it's literally the same case that I use for my professional ones. Mm -hmm. And there should be a link in, in there uh, under, I think, under the art supplies I, I use. Uh, I don't know. Um, let's see. I like the thickest and most fluffiest blankets, says T Creation. Mm -hmm. um, and WM Art says, thank you so much. Oh, sure. Oh, Amalia says, Donna, I agree with you that Lipton barely counts as tea, but I still drink it for nostalgia, LOL. I always have to have it on hand in case I get a craving. You know, you gotta do what makes you happy. If that's nostalgia for you and it makes you happy. Donna feels that if she ever drank, was it Lipton? Uh-huh. The queen would rise up from the dead and slap her. Yeah. Yeah. I would have loved to have had tea with the queen. Hey, Richard's here. What? Is this alive at night? Third hey, Richard. Time? Happy Very Halloween. Nice. Happy Halloween. Um, oh, no. Bethany says, running back to my house, grabbing my laptop. You don't have to do that. It's time for I you told to Don enjoy not to your tell you. I didn't tell you on purpose. Blood oh, dryer. Geez. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, let me, let me mute you. Okay. Um, uh, Scott doesn't like chocolate covered fruit. I like chocolate covered nuts though. There are these great chocolate covered almonds at Sprouts and they're really good. I like those a lot. Um, not a fan of Celestial Tea. They have a lot of flavors and I just really like plain tea. Zest tea is really good if you like. Yeah, I'm not a fruit flavored tea kind of girl. Um, it is evening where we are. It's 9.30 at night. Scott's usually in bed by now. Yeah. My mom would love to have a full discussion with you about tea. Tell mom to give me a holler. I'll talk about tea all day long. Scott, I like different styles of art, watercolor, manga, realistic, so I want to learn and do all of it, but I'm not improving much. Are there disadvantages to learning too much too fast? That's Z Liz. That's a good question. Yeah. It's a great question. You know, um... Repetitive, you know, getting to just do something is going to make you better. Um, I think it's good to learn all of those different ones, but you know, what I've been doing is I'll take a sketchbook and I'm going to fill it with gouache. Mm -hmm. And then when I'm done, if I want to keep going with gouache, I will. If I want to try, go back to watercolor, I will. Mm -hmm. Maybe you could try that. Give yourself a 30, 40, 50 page sketchbook. Say, I'm going to finish, fill it with manga, or I'm going to fill it with watercolor, you know, mm -hmm. and, and do that. You'll learn from that a lot more, and you'll retain it if you go and you try something else and then you come back, because you'll have done 30 pieces or 40 pieces. Smart. I think that'll, that'll help. Smart. <laughs> Jamie says, I love hot cinnamon tea. Would we consider more doing more evening lives? Kirsten would like to know. Um, 
I'm a real early bird, but I mean, I'll, I'll consider it. It's just not really my thing. Yeah, Scott's usually in bed by now. Hello, Scott. Your videos have really helped me with my artistic journey, so thank you and happy Halloween. That's Brody. Oh, thank you. Happy Halloween to you, too. Um, Hansy Mayhem says, my fish just had babies and I'm naming one Scott. Oh, thank you. I'm, I'm honored. Um, let's see. When next October comes around, are you going to do more characters? It would be fun to see more little guys show up each year, at least for the final painting like this one. Love it, yeah, by the way. It's, I think it's fun. We'll see. One Up Girl is here. Hey, one Up Girl. Our poster shipped. We're excited to get them. Yay! Thank you. Try. We are... You guys, we are so close to being completely caught up. We have about 215 orders left to ship. And then we will be... Yeah, Donna and Bethany have been working every single day. We, uh, we have been really, really um, busting it out. <laughs> this live has college art class vibes, night class edition. And I yeah. love it, says Gail. So funny. Um, Renee says this channel honestly warms my heart so much I love the cozy and friendly vibes Scott and Donna give off watching Scott shorts makes me feel relaxed and happy love your work Scott oh thank you um, Adia likes art says hi just got home from school this looks awesome oh thank you oh no Nugget, Nugget Time says, I have the worst art teacher right now. I'm in seventh grade and he gets so mad over the littlest things. Ugh. I'm sorry. It's seventh honey. grade. There's nothing I, to get mad about. I know, honey, but sometimes people just, I don't know. You just keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, I promise not to yell at you. Yeah, and I won't yell at you. I'll yell at Scott. Russia says, do you have a favorite Dum Dum candy, Donna? Oh, you know what? I like the strawberry ones. I'm obsessed with the strawberry ones. Yes, I know they're artificial flavor, but oh my God, they're so good. It's ridiculous. I used to like the grape ones. The grape was my favorite flavor, but strawberry, hands down. I like bubble gum. Really? Yeah, the bubble gum ones are my favorite. Really? And then second would be the orange. Are you kidding? Not the cherry? No. Nope. You're joking. I'm serious. Really? What happened to you? Hey, you stopped liking grape. I know. What happened to us? Good grief. We're getting old. For me, it was menopause. Was it? I get that. I do get that. Um, Scott, how old is your palette? The one you're using right now. Where did you get it? Um, I'm pretty sure I got it at the probably Plaza Art. And um, I probably got it maybe around 2009 when I started take, doing watercolor. I thought you got it. What? Before that. It's possible, but I mean, you know, I really didn't need a palette when I was doing digital stuff for 10 years, and then before that it was colored pencils, so. Okay, I got just got some more tubes shipped to me. So well, that's good. Yay! Um, oh, Vlogs is currently stuck at work, so no trick or treating for me. Happy to join the live. I'm sorry. What is our opinion on Halloween? It's a day. Um, I like Halloween, and I'll tell you why. I'm tell you a small story. Story time. Um, when my boys were little, the it was my day that I got both of my boys and their best buddies. And we would go to our grocery store here and they would have games and they yeah, would love Publix them. was really good about they that. They were so great. We would get sandwiches or we'd get like chicken fingers or something. And we would um, go around, we'd play all the games at Publix. And we would do this early, like 4, 30, 5 o'clock. And then we would come back to the neighborhood and we would go... 
door to door and we would go trick or treating and we would bring Arwen, our puppy, and she would, the trunk of my minivan would be up and the boys would jump in the back and then they would jump out and they'd go from house to house. It is quite honestly, some of the most wonderful memories I have with my boys are on Halloween. So it will always have a special place in my heart for that one reason. Yeah, it it holds no other meaning to us. You know, it's not a religious holiday or anything like that. It's just something to do with the kids and an excuse to have candy and that's it. Um, Scott, what is your favorite holiday? And no, Santa is not in the live right now. Okay. Yeah, you're free uh, to talk. No, I, I, I generally don't like holidays. I, I just don't. I don't even like my own birthday. So um, He really doesn't. Yeah, I don't like anything that means I have to travel or go with, you know, go and spend time with family or anything like that. I, I don't like that. Mm-hmm. So... Who's your favorite person to paint? Ooh. Don't say me. Um, either Wonder Woman or Gandalf or Severus Snape. Um... Oh, Lula's from the Tea Foundry is here. I was just talking about you. Your ears must have been burning. I was talking about your Scottish breakfast tea and I was talking about your um, amber rock sugar. Um, let's see random question what is our favorite type of candy chocolate candy hard candy gummy candy well you can see right there on the desk what scott's <laughs> no that's definitely not my favorite my favorite is gummy coke bottles or swedish fish or hot tamales or atomic fireballs i like cinnamon stuff but gummy coke bottles are so good he likes sugar straight up yeah sugar it doesn't really matter what it is it doesn't matter Gummy Coke bottles are freaking awesome, though. I love gummy Coke bottles. Yeah. Love them. Hey, David's here. David says, I'm usually in bed by now, too. Uh, <laughs> hey, David. Hi, David. Happy Halloween. Did you guys get trick-or-treaters at your house? Uh, we didn't get any at our house tonight, and I went over to my girlfriend's, and we had some good marshmallow time, but... um, Ada Likes Art asks, what art supplies are more important to get high quality? Oh gosh. Mm-hmm. Um, it depends on the medium. You know, it, you, you really have to, you can't just say art supplies in general. You have to, you have to pick a medium because the, the art supplies change based on that. So give me a medium first. Yeah. So like watercolor, colored pencils, what, what's your medium that you prefer? Oils, acrylics, um, Evening lives are great for the in-school folks, but take care of yourself first. That's Spencer. Thank you. Um, Please do more because in my time zone, you start at 3 a.m., but this one started at 3 p.m., so this is my first live. This is Lachlan. Oh. Mm, Ghost Ninja says, man, I'm going to go to bed, but happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Good night. NATO says, I'm excited. This is my first live stream for your channel. Well, thank you. Cherry Blossom wants to know if we're going to be traveling anytime soon. Uh, we hope to. Fingers crossed. Um, let's see. What's your favorite painting that you've painted? Um, I would say the Gothic Vampire right now. Nobody Studios. I've always been a black and white sketch artist, but I've been getting into colors a little more because of how the colors you use look soft and vibrant filled with emotion oh nice graceful studio says hey i just got done trick-or-treating i got nine full-size candy bars lol wow all right well now i've got to know what kind you got did you get hershey bars did you get snickers bars now i gotta know you gotta type it in the chat again i gotta know inquiring minds want to know what the chocolate thing is that you got (laughs) Erica's here. Hey, Erica. Ellen likes grape and green apple and then any red or pink. (laughs) You're funny. Grape is a good flavor. I don't know. I can't the strawberry all of a sudden, though. Um, Dalton wants to know, who's your favorite Morticia, actress-wise? Ooh. I think Angelica Houston crushed it. Um, I mean, I love the original one. I forgot her name. Uh... 
but um, I think Angelica Houston and Raul Julia were just perfect. Yeah, they really were. All the, all the our friends are texting me. They're like, "What are you doing? What's going on?" Um, what's your opinion on black licorice? Says love. I hate, hate it, it, but my husband sometimes craves it. Nope, hate it. Yeah. My dad loved it. Yeah, we're not. And I could never stomach it. Tell everybody what you brought nine thousand miles home from Venice, and then sent another two thousand miles to your mother. I, I, um, yeah, I bought black licorice from Venice. It's just big rope mm-hmm. licorice. It was so. It just so perfect. It was my, in the window of the store, yeah. and he looked and he went, "Oh my gosh, I have to go get that for I, my mom." My dad passed away two years ago, <laughs> so it was just a nice. So my mom ate it like in his memory, kind of thing. Oh, and it was this big, long, two-foot rope of licorice, and she would cut an inch of licorice off at a time so she could savor the licorice. It was so cute. Hey, Battle Brooks is here. It says, Happy Halloween. How was your day? Any spooky happenings? No. no. All good here. Nothing spooky. Three Hershey's and something else. I missed it. <sighs> your chat went away. Oh, my gosh. Um... Are you keeping the Bride of Frankenstein? Yeah. There you go. Okay. Yeah, I'm keeping The Bride of Frankenstein. Bethany got the Winifred Sanderson, and you're keeping the ghost. So the rest of them are up in the store. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite cereal? Fruit Loops. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Not that those are the things we eat a lot of because, you know. No, because we're over 50, so no. Gummy Coke bottles are so good, says oh my. Yeah. That is true. Oh my gosh, Battlebrook says, my mom told me that when my sister and I were kids, we didn't care about the candy. We were more interested if the people had dogs and if we could pet them, LOL. I don't really call this at all. Okay, so that's funny. Be- oh, David didn't have any trick-or-treaters either. Hmm. So Bethany said to me, she's like, she was getting dog cookies for the people who'd come to her house with dogs. And I was like, oh my God, I need to do that. Well, lo and behold, I'm sitting there tonight and the first trick-or-treaters that we had, and my friend has a dog, so obviously like her dog got the dog cookie bag. But um, I gave him, his name is Scuttlebutt. So like Scuttlebutt had a cookie. And then this other dog came up and he was so cute. He got three cookies because he was just so cute. And he let me kept petting him and petting him. So he got more cookies. Yeah, he was cute. I was all about it. Um, Donna, what's your favorite art piece that Scott has made? Oh, here, I'll show it. Would you it. like to show it? We keep it around because everybody wants to know. Fruity or sour candies are my favorite, especially gummies, says Chase. That's Donna's favorite. Yeah. I love that one. It's beautiful. I'm an ocean kind of girl. Beetlejuice says my first stream looks great. Oh, thank you. Um, Chicken Gang asks, how does everyone cook their eggs? I like mine scrambled. I just can't handle the messy yolk. Uh, I would agree with that statement. I do uh, scrambled and also sunny side up. Just depends on my mood. Sometimes I just want to dip it. And other times I just, you know, want the whole thing. Um... I'm allergic to eggs, but I used to like them scrambled. With cheese. You used oh to like God. them with cheese. Scrambled with cheddar cheese on top and hash browns. Oh, God. So good. Oh, my God. And bacon. This has got to be bacon. How do you get your lines so straight? Oh, they're not. They're all wonky. Look at, look. You, if you look, you see how many times I've gone over my lines and my lines are just... You know, it, it's there's there's beauty in the imperfection, mm-hmm. and I think once you learn to l- let go and let your artwork and your line work be imperfect, it becomes and you become more confident in it. It, I think, other people 
um, don't notice the imperfections or they see that it's it's a part of your quote unquote style mm -hmm. and uh, and that's really all you're seeing is you're seeing my um, we'll use the word confidence in my line and the fact that I just don't care anymore uh, if if it's you know uh, not perfect I, I stopped caring about perfection Um, this is a very interesting question. Is there a feature, and it's from Nugget Times, is there a feature on people that you love to draw? Um, the eyes and the hair. Um, what's your favorite movie of all time? Princess Bride. <clears throat> My favorite Morticia is the one from the TV show The New Addams Family. She's the one I grew up with as one-up girl. Oh, um, Catherine Zeta-Jones? I think so, yeah. It's gotta be, it's the newest show. Uh, are you gonna be live tomorrow, and do you know what you're doing? Uh, yes and no. Scott, what is line weight? Um, there's a video on it, but essentially it's, it's, you know, there's, uh... Careful, you're flinging stuff over there. Yeah. You know, you like if I was to do, do a ball um, and say the light's coming here, can you guys see this okay? Yeah. So what I would do is my line would be uh, lighter here and darker here. And that gives it a sense of shadow and it's, that's your weight is right there. And you know, that's it, gonna be lighter up here. And so that's really all it is. It's, it's you know, if I'm doing, um, you know, someone's shoulder, uh, you know, let's, let's say the muscles are going to be here, and, you know, there's biceps over here, you know, you're going to put the harder things at the bottom or where there's going to be less light, mm -hmm. and like this on this side, and then lighter up top. It's really, it's a way of showing lightness and darkness. What is your favorite breakfast meal? Um, waffles. I used to like an omelet. But I can't have eggs anymore. Have you got any ideas for a new sketchbook? This is Eduardo Pinto, and Eduardo sent you a tip. Oh, thank you, Eduardo. Um, for myself, no, I don't. Uh, I still have some stuff in my travel journal I've got to finish up. And, um... But no, I I am. I have ideas, but nothing that I'm gonna jump on just yet. Um, I know art styles constantly change, but when do you think was the last major change to your art style? That's Joy Veal. That's a great question. The last major change was, I think, when I was doing the '80s music, I was trying to really push that graphical style. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't think I love it, but it was a fun change. The, the thing about me with my changes is they're fleeting. I get bored of them fairly quickly. Um, any art tips, best starter kit for watercolor? Um, there's one on my site, uh, on my, you know, uh, if you go to my art supplies list, and that's it wouldn't be my favorite because, like I said, I really liked the the one from Mia, but it sold out. So it's the one from Windsor and Newton. <laughs> Kristen says being an adult is being excited for the day after a holiday sale. Uh, yeah, candy's like 70% off tomorrow. Always so cozy in the hobbit hole. Yeah. It's really nice in here, actually. And God, it was so cold outside. Oh, my gosh. Um... Bethany smells like a fire pit. I smell exactly the same, just like a fire pit. And my eyes are a little, I gotta take my contact lenses out. Tomorrow I get a new pair of contact lenses, woohoo. Um, how long did the inking take? Um, I would say maybe about an hour and a half. Um, this is the first time I've ever made it to a live. It's so nice to see y'all. I know you already made videos about digital art, but what's your opinion about it? Um, I think it's wonderful. Uh, I, I I feel bad that AI is kind of stealing uh, so much from digital art, 
Um, and I don't know how that's going to affect digital artists, but um, I think it takes a lot of talent. I've tried it a couple times, could not get the hang of it. And um, but you know, I I I think that's what I like about traditional art is I feel like it's it's always going to be something that you know like is always going to be there you know because it's traditional it's it's like uh it's i think it's just gonna be very hard for uh any computers or anything like that to get the the brush strokes and and you know create an original piece uh of traditional art any idea for a christmas series for any characters you have or creating a new one um, yeah, I mean, I, I can always come up with ideas. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to do a, um, collaboration with Santa and, uh, you know, we'll see what happens, but I have no plans currently. Um, Twix is good no matter which way you eat it or which way you take it out of the package or right or left or anything. And yes, cheese and chocolate. I agree. Those are delicious. Like a nice hunk of cheddar cheese and a nice piece of chocolate. All right. So I think what I'm going to do is take a, you know, take a, take the evening to sleep on it and I'll look at it in the morning. But, uh, I think I'm about 95% done and then I'll just want to come in with some highlights and, and whatnot. But we did we did an evening live. Mm -hmm. It seems like a lot of you got to uh, come and hang out with us for the first yeah. time, which is wonderful. Um, didn't you do Brian May from Queen? No, I meant to. Okay. Everybody wants to know what's coming up next. They want to know what you're uh, going to do for <clears throat> um, November. They want to know what you're going to do. I'm for going December. to be doing the. Um, 90s um, uh, alphabet uh, by popular demand, but you guys are all going to pick what I'm going to do. So uh, we're going to set up uh, polls and, and whatnot, and you guys can help pick that. Um, I am going to also work on my, I'm going to do another original big painting, um, which is something I want to do like I did with the Goth of gothic vampire okay. hey Ryan's here he says good evening happy Halloween the kidlets are exhausted did they get hey, a Ryan. lot of candy was it fun um, Ruby says fabric castle was a great starter watercolor kit for me um Do you have any advice regarding, this is Russia, art styles shifting, rather one being primarily used, I seem to have shifted and I don't know if I can get a hold of one consistently. What's your opinion? I do the same thing. My art style is changing all the time. I don't think I've been consistent with anything. Um, you know, I mean, just, just a walk over. This is just from the past, you say, month. We sold uh, Taylor Swift, didn't we? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So... Both Taylor Swifts. Yeah. I mean, I've got this kind of style. I've got this kind of style. I've got this kind of style. I've got this kind of style, I've got this, you know, um, this stuff like that. I'm constantly just doing different things, whatever makes me feel happy. So I, I you know, it, I think it's, I think you will improve if you keep doing the same thing. That's just how, how we work as, as human beings. 
but I also think that um, you miss out on a lot if you don't try all of the different stuff. All right, um, I am going to, like I said, take a little break, get some sleep, because we're going to go live in the morning. Are we? Yeah. Are we going to sleep? And then, um, yeah, and then I'll, I'll finish this up. Hey, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Um, oh, here's a good one. Do you recommend any strategies for letting go of perfectionism? That is shapes. Um, yeah, I, you know, that's something that a lot of artists are, are struggling with. Yeah. And um, I, I would say really uh, speed up your, your process. Give yourself an hour or so to finish a painting. Um, like what I've been doing, you know, like the, all of my paintings are like 90 minutes. Do stuff like figure drawing and, and whatnot and, and start to, to work in the, in those kind of uh, areas where you're, where you're going a little bit faster. And I think that helps, but really a lot of it is just mental. You gotta just l teach yourself to let go. <laughs> Lula says, I was just going to ask if you're still going live tomorrow. And then says, sleep tight, don't let the werewolves bite. Happy yeah. Halloween. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight. Um, I, I did promise a, a special Halloween evening uh, did. live. And he so did. I'm glad I got a chance to do that. Yeah. And um, yeah, we will uh, get together in the morning for those of you who can make it. Yeah. And we'll see what we can do. Should be fun. But uh, we love you all. Stay safe. And for yeah. those of you who can make it, we'll see you in the morning. Don't get too sick. Don't eat too much candy. Yeah. Happy Halloween, everybody. Hope you had a good one. Okay. I'm ending. I'm ending.